Recently, there have been allegations against Wiki that Wiki has bought all of uh, federal court judges in Abuja. Yvonne Fubara, who is the current governor of River State, who has a feud with Yelsom Wiki, also said something similar along the lines that God is judging you, you judges that would know the truth, but yet you give a fake court judgment all because you are on the payroll of your paymaster. God is watching you. Recently, the 25 lawmakers who defected to the APC from PDP, who also uh, had their seats announced vacant, went to the federal high court in Abuja, asking the court to stop the federal allocation coming to River State, saying that Fubara has not presented any budget before them, and he continues to spend uh, River State's money without getting approval for his budget. You all, this story long. In fact, Wiki recently launched a project where he intended to build houses for court judges in Abuja. This said land on which this property will be built was hijacked from Dangote. And at the launching of this project, the CGN was there. Activists all around the country have debated the fact that the CJN shouldn't even be at this event because there are numerous, you know, court judgments in courts concerning Wiki, and which means that uh, they are not going to be objective about these cases, seeing the kind of benefit they are getting from uh, Wiki, and you know, they are just being Wikinized. <laughs> Let us put it this way: that is the court, the judges in Abuja have been Wikinized. At this moment, a lot of people are even scared to take their cases that they have against uh, Wiki or against you know people that are very close to Wiki to Abuja. In fact, on the on the on the on the case before the federal high court in Abuja concerning the budget or concerning uh, Fubara not seeking proper budget approval before spending River State money, they even asked the the judge to let them transfer this case to Port Harcourt, but the judge said no. We are going to. We are going to look into this case right here in Abuja because those people know that <laughs> these people are on the payroll of Wiki and there's no way they are going to get a non-partial judgment. You all, before we delve it right into the details of today's news, if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Most importantly, also give this video a massive thumbs up. That way we are encouraged to put out more reliable and authentic content. content. On Monday, Yosom Wiki, the minister overseeing the Federal Capital Territory, announced the revocation of Julius Beggar's ownership of a plot of land in Abuja and its reallocation for the construction of a judge's quarters. Okay, let's just take, for example, if Dangote decides to go to court to contest the revocation, these same judges that are going to be benefiting from this project are the ones that are going to be <laughs> sitting down to judge the matter. So how do you expect them to be objective? How do you expect them to be objective? Hmm. We can make this announcement during the flag of ceremony for the housing project attended by Kudirat Kekiriedu, the chief judge of the Federation, we can note that approximately 70% of the funding for the project had already been released. However, Wiki's unilateral decision has stirred significant controversy on social media. Some users expressed concerns about the implication of these gifts on judicial independence in Nigeria. On Friday, Chidi Odin Kalu, a professor of law, wrote about this on X. He quoted a section of the Nigerian Judicial Code of Conduct, a judge shall avoid developing excessive close relationships with frequent litigants, such as government ministers or their officials. If such relationships could reasonably create an appearance of partiality, Kalu Aja, a financial analyst and social critic, also reacted to Wiki's decision, albeit indirectly, he described it as fruit of a forbidden tree. On the more formal front, the Falano and Falano law firm called for the reassignment 
of a case involving Wiki from a federal high court in Abuja to another in Rivers, according to Vanguard reports. The law firm, in a letter to the chief judge of the federal high court, cited concerns about potential buyers in the Abuja Judicial Division due to the minister's involvement in the housing project for judges. Apart from the issue of forum convenience, our clients have decided to request the transfer on the ground of likelihood of buyers in the Abuja Judicial Division of the Federal High Court, as the Honorable Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Mr. Yosom Wiki, who is an interested party in this case, has announced plans to build houses for judges within the Katampe District of the Federal Capital Territory. The letter reads in parts. So <laughs> judges are supposed to benefit from this housing project. Don't forget, I think that at this point, we should all just admit that this is a tactic from Wiki. And I've seen this occur over and over again, even since he became the uh, uh, the minister of a federal capital territory. Remember the, the, retire, the transferred policemen? They were just being transferred. It's not as if they were retiring. He gifted them cars, exotic cars, for that matter, what millions upon millions of naira, and for what? And for what? Are you going to collect the cars? Are you going to collect the houses and, you know, all of these luxurious gifts that you are collecting from politicians and at the end of the day, they ask you for a little favor and you will not do it? <laughs> if I hear, if I hear, you will not do it. It's not possible. Let's just be realistic. Notably, the allocations for judges' housing in the FCT were not included in the 2024 Capital Expenditure Project, nor were they found in the plans for the Ministries of Justice and Housing and Urban Development. Wiki has a history of building houses and buying gifts for judges. The former governor has, on many occasions, described these gestures as part of a judicial welfare commitment. You better confess. We know why you are doing all these things. It's not because of welfare or anything. It's because anytime you have a, a case in court, you can go to them and ask for a little favor. You guys remember Justice Peter Lufuabi? What is his name? This is like the third, the third court order he has given that has been in favor of Wiki. And you are telling me that the gift is just for judicial welfare. If I hear judicial welfare, my ass. In 2020, while serving as the governor of River State, he handed over 24 houses to judges in the state. The project cost the state approximately 6 billion naira. Wiki provided cash payments of 150 million naira each to about 23 judges who declined the housing offer, stating judges have a choice to receive a properly built house from the state government or opt for cash payment to build or buy their houses themselves. With our policy, the state now bears the full responsibility to providing befitting accommodation for all judicial officers of river state origin beyond their service years for life. The state government spent six billion naira to build, furnish and landscape these estates the government also reserves interest to buy back any flats and reallocate to other judges to preserve exclusivity of the estate for judicial officers alone. The policy covers all former chief judges, presidents of customary court of appeal, including Justice Peter Agumago, or retired justice in service when the policy was made, Current chief judge of the state will have accommodation built before retirement in May 2021. In 2021, Wiki reinforced its commitment to judicial welfare by signing the housing scheme for judicial officers' bill into law. He argued that ensuring judges have proper housing would help combat corruption and foster in independence within the judiciary. Beyond the house, houses, Wiki has made headlines for gifting cars to judges in the past. In 2020, he gifted 41 special uti utility vehicles, SUVs, one time. On another occasion, he gifted 29 customary court judges new Ronald Colos SUVs. Before that time, Wiki had given 35 Ford Explorers to some judges 
about a year after he assumed office as River State Governor. While these gestures are framed as efforts to support the judiciary, they raise questions about ethics. The Judicial Code of Conduct outlines expectations for judges to maintain high standards of property. It clearly states that judges and their families should not accept gifts that could be perceived as influencing their judicial duties. As members of the public, expect a high standard of conduct from a judge. He or she must, when in doubt about attending an event or receiving a gift, however small, ask himself or herself a question, how might this look in the eyes of the public? You or what are your thoughts? Let's have them in the comment section below. If you also agree with me that there is an ulterior motive to these, you know, wiki handing over gifts, houses, and the likes to judges, let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much for always listening. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.